Yo, what's up guys? Uh, Farmer here. So, um, I was running a key with a viewer of mine, and they've been through, you know, the dungeon AoE, um, everything like that, and I was, I was kind of acknowledging their breakdown and everything, and, um, it seems like, um, something I want to reiterate a little bit on for AoE purposes is, um, the, the significance of Primal Wrath, right? So, for a typical rotation, you want to open up with your Blood Talons into a Rake, right? And then Tiger's Fury. I just, out of muscle memory, I just did my single target opener. So let me try this again. So you're going to open with a Rake, okay? And then you're going to get like a two-point uh, Primal Wrath off, right? And then you want to Thrash, okay? So typically, you know, at this point, the, the Rip would be running out. So you're going to reapply it like this. Um... The, the trick that I kind of want to help you guys understand is your weaving, right? So, the damage of Primal Wrath is um, you have the on-hit portion of it, and then you've also got the rip portion of it, right? So, <clears throat> the on-hit portion does about 7k for a 5-point Primal Wrath per target. So, if you have, you know, like 5 or more targets... I recommend that you mostly just do Primal Wrath. If you have three targets, okay, so four or less targets. We'll say four or less targets. Um, and depending on the health of the targets, maybe even five or six. If they're lower health targets, you might want to focus less on Primal Wrath casts and more on this weaving rotation that I'm going to show you here. So what you typically do is you'll open up, right, with your rake, okay, um, let me let let me let the combo points drop off real quick. <clears throat> so you go ahead and do your regrowth, right? I'm not let. We'll just do this. All right. So you'll open with your rake, right? And then you're gonna tiger's fury into a primal wrath immediately, okay? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna get your full empowered rips up on all the targets, right? And then you'll get to your five combo points, you'll refresh, and you'll use it. So the technique I want to show you guys is the weaving portion, okay? So it's important when you have four or less targets that you start weaving in your ferocious bites. So every other five combo points, you want to use a ferocious bite, right? This way, you are getting the most damage out of your combo points, and you're keeping up rips on everything. Okay, this would be the most optimal way in order to enhance your damage. If you're weaving your ferocious bites in and out every five combo points, and then adjust your strategy as the targets d uh, dwindle down, right? So when the targets start dwindling, then you'll you'll mostly drop into probably just a ferocious bite, right? If you have two targets, uh, my rip fell off there. I can't see these rate or these rips on these target dummies. But you'll you'll kind of dwindle it down, right? And then when you get in your two your two target rotation, you'll use a primal wrath to get rip on both, and then you'll ferocious bite, and then ferocious bite the other one. So, anyways, just a quick video to kind of you know um, address the the weaving technique that you can do with a feral druid um, in order to optimize your combo point usage. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to subscribe down below and. Uh, I stream on Twitch almost every day, so swing by and say hey. Thanks, guys.